Go. Hi everyone, my name is Teresa, and this is Yum Yum, and this is Lollipop of Chi Yum Yum on Facebook. We're here today because we've had many requests for our recipe for our raw food diet that we feed them. And so I'm here to show you all the ingredients and explain to you how to make it and also why we feed them like this. So let me just jot them down and we'll get right back to you. So, I first would like to start by saying I am not a veterinarian, nor do I claim to be, and I'm not suggesting that anyone have to feed their dogs what I do. It's just that you've asked for the recipe and I'm here to help share that with you. It's through many years of experience, and I owe all the credit of what I know to my sister Maria, through 25 years of experience with animal rescue and hospice care, uh, all the research during those years have come to find that there are so many ingredients in store-bought dog foods that are very harmful to our pets, and that can all be researched online if you care to do that. But it's through all those years of experience that we're able to narrow it down to these ingredients that's good to feed our dogs. So, what we start with is a raw meat diet. You have your choice of raw beef, chicken, even venison is fine. Here we saw, I start, actually I make a batch big enough so that I can store it in little containers like this in the freezer. So I'll make a batch big enough to last uh, several weeks. Uh, in this bowl is approximately three pounds of chopped meat, raw. And then we use three to four different vegetables. They could be fresh or frozen. In this case they were frozen. There's in here spinach, kale, lima beans, and broccoli, and I actually think there's little peas and carrots in here too. We put it in the food processor, grind it down till it's really just all mushy so that they can't pick it out of the food. So that's part of it. And then another part, we have um, all the rest of the ingredients, which is fruits. I choose four fruits. You can change the fruits up each time you make it. In this case, there's apple, pear, banana, and mango. All of them are peeled pitted, chopped up, put in the food processor. We put in sweet potato, cooked, peeled and cut up. We put in a can of pure pumpkin. Remember, pure pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling. It's got to say pure pumpkin. We also put in a can, and these are 15 ounce cans. 15 ounce cans. Uh, chickpeas. I strain the juice out and put the chickpeas in. I also put in flaxseed. Now this is a uh, natural raw whole flaxseed. I'll take some, put it in the coffee grinder, grind it down, and I'll probably use about three quarters of a cup in this amount of a mixture. Also very important for a raw food diet, they have to have their calcium. Best source of calcium to give them is eggshells. You see, I'll save my eggshells, wash them off real good, rinse them, let them dry, make sure they're dry, Put them in the food uh, in the coffee grinder until you have a very powdery consistency. It's like powder. Okay. That I, I put the eggshell on in as I serve them. So what you'll do is you'll take your chopped meat, you'll take your vegetable mixture, this mixture which contains your fruits, your pumpkin, your chickpeas, your sweet potato and your flaxseed. Put it all in the food processor until it's also very mushy. Very mushy. Okay? You'll add all of this into your mixture. And it's equal parts. Equal parts meat and then this will be equal parts. So it's going to be half meat and half mixture. Just add it all in. get a spatula at home, a rubber spatula, get it, get it all out. This is just quick to show you. I usually use my hands to mix this up because it mixes really better and easier and faster that way than this way. So you'll mix that in. Once that's all incorporated, you'll mix in your vegetable mixture. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it till it's thoroughly mixed. Then you'll take your containers 
and whatever size you know is good for you to store in your freezer pack it in there and I will have several weeks worth of food here then when you you just take them out of the freezer as needed take it out <coughs> my dogs are three pounds and under so Judging how much to feed them, it's going to be different than store-bought dog food because store-bought dog, dog food is full of fillers. You're going to find yourself having to feed them much less of this, but it's going to be a lot of trial and error until you get the right amount for your dog. Every dog's size and weight is different. For my dogs, they're very tiny. I try to avoid hypoglycemia, so I feed them three to four times a day, but very small meals. This, for instance, is about two tablespoons of this mixture and that's one meal per day. To this, I will add one teaspoon, no, I'm sorry, a quarter of a teaspoon of the eggshell. Also, I incorporate coconut oil. This is a good one. It's um, a, a whole kernel unrefined coconut oil, quarter of a teaspoon into this mixture here, into the single serving. Also, I use a vitamin supplement, Dog Mix by Life Extension, and this has directions on it per weight of your dog. I use about a quarter of a teaspoon. So in the single portion, I add the eggshell, the vitamin supplement, and the coconut oil. Mix it all up, and I do warm it. Do not cook it. This is a raw meat diet. You can just warm it so that it's not cold. Mix it all up good, and they're good to go. You can feed them that once a day. You have, to, you have to decide what weight of your dog is going to be good for you. Like I said, mine are very tiny. So they'll get this once or twice a day. And the other one or two meals is going to be steamed chicken. This is considered one serving for my, for my dogs. It's about a tablespoon. So that's going to be trial and error for you. Everything, at least you know, what is in your dog food, what they're eating. Very healthy. And um, we've done this for many years. And it's worked for us. I hope it works for you too. It's really quite easy. It doesn't take all that much time. And if you make a big batch and store it like I do, it's maybe, you know, once every three or four weeks you have to make it. Of course, again, depending on your size of dog. And that's it. That's about it, really. So if you want a healthy diet for your dog, be, health, be happy to uh, give it a try, share it with your friends, see how your dogs like it. And um, that's it, really. And I'm, I'm happy to be able to share this with you. And good luck trying. If you have any questions, you can um, message me on our Facebook page, Chi Yum Yum, that's C H I space Y U M, space Y U M, Chi Yum Yum. And uh, we'll see you around there. Have fun making it.